So we're going to actually put this inside. And I'm going to say private class. Now everything should work. And handler, capital, new, handler. And H. And now if we're in our application, so you can see it's still changing. We're still listening for the clicks. Some people like to do it this way, you know, creating your own nested class, but putting it there. Um, I just like to do it uh, using the this keyword. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to delete this handler class, uncomment our state change listener, delete this line of code over here, and add in this and again have this implement the change listener and everything's good I'm getting an error here I don't know why hold on All right Control Shift F. All right. So make sure there's a you have enough of curly brackets. So we just pan through this. I know we changed a lot of things, and just make sure everything's the same. All right. Now let me show you the other way of doing this, and the other way is. Uh, actually a lot messier so we say in here instead of this you can say new change listener and inside these curly braces this is a new lexical scope the lexical scope is different from the lexical scope out here in, in this inside this uh, curly brackets of the uh, change listener we get some uh, the we're inside the uh, change listener interface let me actually show you if we click out here in our library system and click uh, alt shift s let me just show you this so in here alt shift s override implement methods we see that the only uh, the only thing within our scope is a uh, library system object but if we click inside this change listener alt shift s eclipse will detect that we're in a new lexical scope and will give us the change listener interface and so go ahead and click override and implement state change. Hit OK. And now Eclipse will add these lines of code for us. And now, um, yeah, we just copy and paste whatever we had here in our state changed. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just kind of wasting time. Just, just going to have to believe me on this. Or you guys can do it on your own. But trust me, it works. Same thing. Just control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. This. All right. Now, there is one more way, and it's almost exactly the same as here. Instead of uh, declaring our new change listener here, We can just make a variable, a variable uh, h, and we can say change listener h equals new change listener curly brackets 
make sure the uh, colon there alt shift s override implement methods state changed and now everything works so yeah there, uh, as of now there's I think there's four different ways of doing it as I said create your own class that implements the change listener make a variable change listener h and then pass that variable in or uh, just uh, make a new change listener inside this or just have our own class which I like the best implement the change listener and just pass in the this keyword alright now we have to do the same thing that we did for the uh, tab pane remember when uh, remember this we uh, we added a method inside our library interface get tab pane well uh, no never mind this is gonna be a little different so now we're implementing the action performed and the style of the model view controller is you're injecting the controller so the controller is injecting itself into the view so this is our controller the library system and we're gonna inject itself the library system to our view so that so that uh, whatever is happening in the view the our controller library system whenever I say controller I'm referring to our library system our controller is uh, is knows everything that's going on inside the view so what injecting means again is our controller is injecting itself into our library to our view so our controller is injecting itself to the view and by doing that our controller knows everything that's going on inside the view and that's that's what this whole setup is the library controller the uh, sorry the, the model view controller and so it knows everything that's going on inside the view and it's gonna use the model the data that we're manipulating the controller is gonna use the model to uh, in the background to in response to the controller is gonna use the model and manipulate it in response to events in the view so that's what this whole model view controller business is in a nutshell so now that we uh, as I said we created the action performed uh, method in our library system in our controller we need to add this to our add book panel we need to inject these uh, the action performed to our add book panel and browse library panel just like what we did here we uh, injected the uh, ch state change listener inside uh, the JTAB pane, which was inside our our library interface. But as you can see, we have a lot of buttons inside our panel. We have five buttons inside our add book panel, and we're going to need to add the change the action listener action action listener all five of them I'm gonna do it in one line so uh, go on over and declare a private add book panel I'm gonna call a BP and a browse library panel I'm gonna call it BLP again these are in a different package so import them 